Hi, so I've been making a few videos on solar panels recently and it makes me seem like a solar nut. And I can assure you, I'm not. Now see, solar is part of the mix of generation to help us move forward rather than being a placard bearing, badge wearing solar fa fan. I think they're great, okay? But I think they're part of the mix. However, the one thing I do hate is misinformation. One of the really common comments I'm getting is uh, you can't recycle solar panels. Well, that's just not true. And even the briefest look on the internet will tell you what the state of solar panel recycling actually is. Now, the rate of solar panel replacement, this is the rate at which old solar panels are taken down, new ones are put in, in terms of percentage of the total solar panels currently in place. In Europe, that rate is 1% but by 2040 is expected to rise to something like 40-46%. So there's this momentous problem awaiting us where we're going to be neck deep and drowning in broken solar panels as everybody takes their stuff down. And that's the big worry, because it's everybody's worry. So in uh, Europe, it's actually mandated that you must recycle your solar panels and all companies are expected to take their solar panels in for recycling and the European target is 80%. Now people won't of course, people will take them down themselves and just throw them away and so you'll get a few percentages always going to escape that but the bulk of them is you must recycle. Now recycling in Europe is, um, I hesitate to say this, ahead of mm, other countries, mm, I don't like that. But in Australia, the recycling rate is 17% and in the US it's 10%. And that's mostly down to lack of regulation. The regulations in Europe and the UK are pretty stringent in those terms. And so we have to recycle them. But recycling isn't necessarily what you think. So a lifespan of a solar panel is said to be 25 to 30 years, and it isn't. That's the point at which they begin to um, degrade. And when they begin to degrade, they're usually stripped off. But actually, they have another 15 years or so in them. They're actually finished around about 40 years or so. So this is a huge market in second-hand solar panels. You can get them about half the price and they produce a few percent less because the rate at which they, use, uh, they lose is 0.2% uh, per degree of usage. So it's... Not that great, but it's enough that you get them at half price. But of course, solar panels don't represent a huge proportion of the cost when it comes to a solar installation, and so most people don't opt for that. Most people go for the 25-year thing, and these second-hand solar panels are usually shipped somewhere where we can ignore them, probably Africa. But there is still an enormous market in used panels, and in fact, when they take panels apart, only some of those panels are like that, and about 80% of them are reused, which is incredible if you think about it. Now, a solar panel itself is obviously made up of materials, and the materials it's made up of, I think it's 76% glass, 10% aluminium, 5% silicon, 10% plastic, and 1% other metals. And of course, the other metals are the ones that have got everybody excited, because part of that other metals is silver. Those little fingers that you see on top of your silicon solar panel are in fact silver traces. Now a solar panel uses something between uh, 130 and 400 milligrams of silver to make those traces per little square. And two of those squares is a gram of silver. That's actually a lot of silver. And so people want that silver back. Now, when it comes to the glass, what they actually do is crush it up. They crush it up into a fine thing called coloured, and of that, 96% of that is reused. So of the glass, 96% is already recycled. Because the aluminium is the frame around it, and that's possibly the easiest bit, because you just pull that off and chuck it in the bin. 100% of the aluminium is actually recycled. And remember, the silicon counts for about 5% of a um, silicon solar cell. Of that silicon, it can be recaptured and reused as well, and 80% of that is actually reused. So, it can be recycled, and it is recycled, 
although there's a slight pain involved in it. But of course, because that recycling is uh, very interesting to people, a lot of work's going on, and this uh, French company have come out with a development where they're going to be able to recycle them at a much lower cost. They're not telling anybody what they're doing, and fair play to them. If they can actually do that, they say they can, and they've demonstrated they can, so yeah, why not? It's a business. Keep it quiet. So there are a huge amount, uh, sorry, a huge effort in the recycling of solar panels because, well, they're worth money. <laughs> and so it being worth money is going to get people recycling them. This year, the amount of money involved in recycling uh, solar panels is 170 million. By 2040, it's expected to be round about 2.7 billion. That's a lot of money, and of course we've all seen the silver price go up, so it's made it more economically viable to recycle solar panels. So this myth, probably coming from wind turbine blades can't be recycled to solar panels can't be recycled, is utterly and totally false. And in fact, they are being recycled with a huge market value, which is pushing people into it, and in certain countries, it is legislatively supported that you must recycle them. So I wanted to clear up that. I know it's a bit of a rant and I know it's on solar and it makes me seem like a solar nut, but I wanted to clear that up because that is a complete and utter myth. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.